<coughs> oh man, I am so ill, but I'm still gonna do the video. Oh, I'm gonna come across so like someone's run over my throat. But it don't matter, because I'm gonna do it anyway. 2018 has been an absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy year for sneakers. And I feel like Adidas have, have, have had, uh, had a little trick up their sleeve. And they saved the very best release till the very last minute. In my opinion, the Yeezy 700 V2 Static is the best Yeezy release that we have seen for a very, very long time. I'm in absolute love with the Static Pack. I can't get enough of it. Like, it is so good and it's so nice. And every shoe looks so much better in person. Even the 350s, they look unbelievable. And 350s have been played out a bit this year. But when I saw the 700, I was excited. Because the OG 700s was my was my favorite shoe of 2018, um, just because of the pure excitement and how much I wanted them, and yeah, and, and how comfortable they are and how they look. They're just a shoe that's perfect for me. I really do like the OG runner, that thick, that dad type shoe. I really do rate that. But when I see these statics, the V2s in person. It definitely changed my mind a little bit. So the Yeezy 700 V2 looks absolutely amazing in person if you haven't seen it already. If you've seen it in pictures and it looks good, just wait till you see it in person and on feet, it looks so much better. The materials they use are absolute premium, but the price tag is still really, really high. 250 pound for a shoe is, is crazy. And it takes someone crazy to buy that. And it turns out it took like 17,000 crazy people to spend that on a, on a retail shoe. But yeah, it's, it's a crazy game. <laughs> it's a crazy expensive game. So the Yeezy 700 V2. The whole upper of the 700 has changed. It's different than the OGs. Apart from the sole. The sole is completely the same. What they've done on the static V2s, on the midsole, they've absolutely whited it all out. There's no color, there's no anything. Even in the indents, there's no color, it's all white. Um, which looks really, really good and it definitely goes with the colorway of the shoe. And it does have a black sole. So again, this complements the white and it stands out, especially when you're walking and you can see that 700 sole. And this is one of my favorite parts of the 700. I just think it looks so, so cool. On the sole, it does have gaps here, um, which is the visible boost. So it's, it's, like, it's like Nike with their air unit. Adidas like to make their boost visible too. Just above the midsole, you do have cream accents here and on the heel. So these cream hits are made out of a very soft leather. And the leather, again, is really, really good quality. It is really soft and it does feel really, really, really good. Complementing the leather around the toe box, the laces and on the heel is a very, very soft suede. This is a very short haired suede. So you, if you run your fingers across it, it won't change color like the um, like the OG 700s. It's a different suede than the than the seven the OG 700s. But the suede is really good quality and it is really soft. And I would definitely recommend anyone if you're wearing these shoes, spray them up. Uh, don't add too much. Don't apply too much because you don't want to really lose the quality of the suede, which you can do. But you're going to want to protect it because it is really soft and, and I, I feel like it can get marked quite easily. The main material of the upper is this kind of knit, meshy material. It's like this really tough, thick knit um, and it feels really durable and it feels like it's going to last a long time. So again, the quality, the materials are really premium and it is really good. Again, you're still, you're asking for a lot of money, so you're expecting it to be good. So on each side of the shoe, the inside and the outside, on the toe box, holding the laces in and on the heel, you do have little accents of 3M. So these 3M hits, is like you've got a sticker and you've stuck it onto the knit. And it does look really, really good because it looks subtle. If you're not actually seeing it with the 3M, it looks, it looks subtle. You wouldn't really notice it too much. You think it's just the design. It doesn't stick out. It doesn't clog up the shoe. It's subtle enough to just be there and it's like, it's, it's perfect, it's perfect. That's there's, there's how, how I can describe it. It is perfect, like they've done it absolutely perfectly. It looks really, really good. On each side, you've got the three stripes. On the toe box, you just have a tiny little accent here. All the laces as well, the rope laces are the same as the 350 V2s, they all light up. And in every gap on the, um, on the hill, again, it's 3M. So it looks really, really good and it really does stay true to its static presence. It stays true to its static name. And this pack is by far the best Yeezy pack I've seen in such a long time. Like, you guys know, if you watch my videos, you know I like shoes that are different. I like shoes that, like, 
glow in the dark like the 750s that I got or that do have that 3M hit, something special, something to make you feel like a kid again. <laughs> um, yeah, I really, really, really rate that. So as you can see, the shape, the whole shape of the V2 is completely different than the OGs. Already tell on the uh, on the hill is absolutely completely different. The sole is exactly the same, but it just looks different because obviously this is a lot more color on the sole with the orange and the black and the, 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 like the wavy prints, but these are all whited out. The accents are still there on the sole, but it's just all whited out. Again, on the toe box, it is completely different. The OG still is one of my favorite shoes and one of my favorite releases 2018, but I really do feel like the statics have supported Past that and I really do think I prefer the static v2s and the OGs one of the main one of the main one of the main things uh one of the main things I like about this V2 700 is the tongue. If you've got the uh, the OG 700s, you know how how hard that tongue is to stay in place. Well on the V2s the tongue will always stay in place because it is stitched in from here down is all stitched in. It will never ever move and it is always perfectly in place. It always looks perfect. This shoe looks absolutely amazing on feet. Absolutely amazing and it looks good on anyone. No matter what size, no matter what height, like honestly, every single person that I've seen wear this shoe, I thought, if I haven't told them, they look so good on you, man. <laughs> like they look so, so good. Um, yeah, I'm in absolute love with this shoe. The colorway, the grays, the different gradients of grays, the 3M, the cream leather, the white midsole, the black sole, everything is absolutely perfect and it's done perfectly. To me, again, this is my best release or one of my best releases of 2018 by a mile and they've saved it till last. Guys, I wanna know what you think of the Yeezy 700. If you haven't tried them on, if you can, try and do so. The boost is really, really comfortable. It is an amazingly comfortable shoe and it is it, and it does feel good when you wear them you've got so much support and it just yeah it just looks amazing it feels so comfortable i want to know what you think of the yeezy 700 v2 static pack <laughs> whether you did manage to pick up because this release was very very different than normal yeezy releases um it's the first time we've seen this year that adidas have gone back to the old days gone back to their roots like you couldn't buy these online on adidas.com you had to go to a local store um, people that on Adidas in London you had two queues so you had a queue for people that won the raffles and you had a queue for people that just wanted to queue up for the shoe and that is amazing to me that really is nostalgic man it, it brings it brings you back to like the old days when you actually had to queue for shoes and then you'll see who really wants the shoe <laughs> um, yeah you get a few resellers but for the time and effort, you mainly get people that really want that shoe. Um, so I love the release. Um, yeah, they're harder to get, uh, but yeah, I love the release. But guys, again, I want to know your opinion on the shoe. Whether you managed to get the easy, <laughs> whether you managed to get the easy 700 V2 statics. Um, what do you think of them, man? Just comment down below. My Instagram and my Twitter is in the description. Press the thumbs up button if you did like the video. Subscribe to me for more. I can't stress that enough. Guys, I hope you have an absolutely amazing new year. And I will see you soon on the next one. Peace.